Hey guys, this is Sam back with another video and today we're going to be talking about the ARK coin shop. Now I realize I'm like 10 days late. A lot has happened in the last 10 days. So, you know, just, just let me be. But tomorrow is the 30% off sale. Sunday, you know, or tonight's reset basically is the first 30% off sale for the ARK patch. So I figured I'd let you guys know how to get coins if you don't know already and what you should focus on buying in the shop. So first things first, since flames release, they have also added the rainbow flames and the red flames in the shop, uh, in any event shop pretty much. These will be pretty important, especially if you're in normal service, these will be very, very nice to put your gear on. If you are in reboot, since you can buy this for nine and a half mil in Henesis and Leaf Free Potion Shop, it's probably not that important. I would prioritize getting these Rainbow Flames in the future. And I say in the future because there's a couple other things that are much, much higher priority for you guys to focus on no matter what progression level you're at. Uh, you also have your standard EPOTs, cubes, honor, AP, SP reset, cult cubes, and gold potential stamps. Pretty standard stuff. I shouldn't have to go into it too much. Second tab is where things get slightly more interesting. So first you have the node stones. You have the arcane symbol selector coupon. Damage skin extractor coupon, which basically removes the damage skin that you have saved in your, you know, or I'm sorry, it, it's, it's, it extracts the damage skin that you have applied currently uh, in your character. And it, it makes it into a tradable item. So for example, for me right now, I have the... Oh, I have the uh, baddie damage skin equipped right over here. And if I were to use the damage skin extractor coupon, it would take this damage skin away. I would be left with the basic damage skin. And it would make it into the item that I can trade around and, you know, gives my mules and stuff. So this is a nice little thing if you have a particular damage skin on a mule, for example, that you want to pass your main. This is very nice. But in the you know, for the most part, it's not too important. You also have the Arc Random Damage Skin uh, box. This is actually a really, really good damage skin. In terms of the kinds of damage skins in the box, I would highly suggest that you guys get it. I'll try to see if I can get all the damage skin on the screen, but basically what you want to look out for is the Absolab Damage Skin, the Fafner Damage Skin, Radiant Pepe, Arcana, and the... Yeah, I guess the Lashland damage skin to some extent. These are five extremely good looking damage skins. So I would highly recommend that you spend a couple coins here, but don't go overboard because there's a better damage skin box for the next season's shop. I also have the zero damage skin, which kind of looks all right, and the superstar damage skin for angelic busters. You have the arc chair, Pepe sleeping bag chair, hanging nest chair, discovery campfire chair, the permanent chug boat mount, uh, permanent steamboat mount, permanent cruise ship mount, and the black scooter mount. Nothing too fancy. I mean, it's, uh, these mounts are actually <laughs> not worth it, in my opinion. You have the trade boost potion, job change coupon, uh, job change coin, character extension coupon, which, by the way, now we have 46 available slots for us in GMS, so you might want to get a couple of these. But honestly, if you're in Reboot, yeah, it's not that worth it. You can buy it with, like, 10, 15 mil. Hyper Rock, Mastery Books, and the Kaiser Color Change Coupon, and some other miscellaneous stuff. Now the Season 2 is where things get really interesting. So Season 2, the Damage Kin box, I would say is the better one. Even though most of these Damage Kins are not really that worth, you know, Orange Mushroom looks nice, uh, the Pink Bean Damage Kin looks nice, but what I really want to encourage you guys to get from this is the Esfera Damage Kin. The Esfera Damage Kin is gorgeous uh, maybe it's put it over there uh, <laughs> it's somewhere on the screen but it is amazing how good it looks and i will definitely be using this so just make sure that you guys try to roll for it if you can if you're a mercedes you have the heavenly damage kin xenon is the hybrid damage kin and you have the first maple tree chair now this is a really beautiful chair if you go to the afk map for for maple point or for art coins you can hear the music in the background. Basically, you're going to sit on that giant maple tree in the back. Holy lag. Uh, <laughs> so you're going to sit on that tr that tree, basically. Obviously, it's going to be a smaller version of it. 
but you have the classic Maple Story BGM. It's it's absolutely worth it, I think, just for nostalgia's sake. And it's just beautiful. It's a very, very beautiful chair. If you have the golden tree chair from the last event, it's kind of similar to that in shape, but you know, it's just more iconic. So I would suggest that you guys get that uh, next season. You also have the Net of li Nest of Life chair. Not that worth, don't worry about it. Snow Pepe and the Whale. Uh, the Phoenix. <laughs> Yeti Phoenix. Uh, Yeti, Yeti Sphinx. And Flying Treasure Map and some Chemdi Mount. The mounts aren't too worth besides the Whale Mount. But for the most part, you want to focus on the chair. And the second season's damage can box. Now, a quick note about the symbol coupons. If you are trying to optimize for damage, this is actually really, really important. So it says can be used for 10 days after purchase, right? That is crucial. So this symbol coupon, you can buy 20 of them uh, every single week. And it lasts for 10 days. Now say, as far as release comes out on 7-Eleven. So if I buy this thing uh, before July the 5th, you know, where the shop resets, I can have 20 symbols coupons just sitting there. I can buy 20 more after the July 5th reset. And then after Asphara comes out, I can use those 40 symbols and get Asphara symbols. So you won't be able to redeem them for Asphara symbols unless you finish the prequest. And since the prequest isn't coming out on 7-Eleven, you won't be able to use it until Asphara is actually released and you finish the prequest. But because it lasts for 10 days, you can actually buy this, you know, 20 for week one, 20 for 7-5's week, and then 20 for, uh, you know, 20 as in like 20 for uh, 7-Eleven, and then buy 20 more the next week, the 7-Eleven release. So in total, you know, on Asphara's release, it is actually possible to get 60, 60 Asphara symbols if you are 235 and above, right? So this is huge. This is absolutely huge. And, you know, obviously we have some other rings that I go into, but I really would suggest that you optimize your coin, you know, your coin gain for this symbol coupon, especially if you're 235 and above. Now, if you're not 235 and you don't plan on getting to 235, buy as far as released, maybe it's not so important. But if you are 235 and above, again, I highly suggest that you buy this after, you know, I would say maybe like July the 3rd, July the 4th, and then just, just hold on to the 20 symbols, get 20 more and get 20 more so you can have 60 symbols for as far as release. It's amazing. I think that's a free level 4, level 5 symbol. It's you know, so it's like you get, you get 50 free Arcane Force off the bat, right? And since it resets every single week at reset, the symbol count resets every week at reset, you can basically have to get a thousand coins for the symbols every week. A thousand coins, since you are capped at 200 coins per day from the just from AFK and from hunting mobs, you only need to do five days of your coin cap to actually fulfill that symbol requirement. So just letting you guys know, it is, it is extremely, extremely worth. You can get up to uh, 1,600 coins a week. I'm at 200 per day, then double on Sundays. So you can get 1,600 coins a week. So really, I would say every single week you have 1,000 coins for symbols and 600 coins for like your allowance, so to speak, your allowance for other items, whether it's damage can boxes, chairs, or whatnot. And then last of all, you have the Chaos Ring. Now, I've been talking about this ring for a long time. This is best in slot in GMS. You can actually buy two. So you can buy one for drop care and one for your main if you want to. But this is a really, really expensive ring, as you can tell. 3,500 coins, which is why I highly suggest that you buy this tomorrow during the 30% off, uh, you know, the 30% off thing. And then try to plan out your time to see if you can actually time 10 days uh, to get the symbols, right? But... 30% off of this, this will cost $24.50. So you guys should be able to get at least one and then, you know, still get your symbols for this week and the symbols for next week. So it's it's possible to get the ring and get the symbols if you've been capping your coins since the beginning. Now, this ring, I'll go into a more detailed video on how this actually works once I actually get it after reset. But suffice it to say, it's you can reset it and once you reset it, 
you know, draw some lines, and it it can be best in slot. So just keep that in mind. The current best in slot ring setup with the Chaos Ring would be your Superior Galox Ring, your Master SS Ring, Synergy Ring, and the Chaos Ring. That could change. That that will change if we get twenty five stars. But for now, you know, this is still meta. So make sure you get this uh, on the sale. Uh, Synergy Ring. Uh, for those of you guys who aren't aware. Make sure you have five of these things equipped across your mules at any given time, so that you can get the maximum bonus. You know, it's it's been with us for a long time. You guys should know what it's <laughs> what it's supposed to be. So yeah, the strategy here: get the symbols, get the chaos ring, and you guys should be fine. The other things, you know, the other really cool things, the arc chair and the damage skin stuff. You have plenty of time to get those. They are really really cheap. Keep in mind, you can get up to two hundred coins a day. So <laughs> you should be able to get most of the things that you want uh, on top of the flames. Yeah. And now to actually get the coins, what I showed you earlier with this map is one way. You can AFK here and get some points every 10 seconds. I don't know the exact number, but basically, you know, I go to sleep around 11 or 12 at night and I AFK this, I AFK in this map and then I come back home from work the following day at about 5, 6, maybe 7 p.m. So that's about it's about 15, 16 hours. Around that time, if you keep your computer on, you should be able to max out the coins uh, just from AFKing in this map. So I highly would suggest that you guys just let Max on, you know, bit mine your computer and, <laughs> and get the coins. Now, if you can't AFK here, you can also kill mobs uh, for arc points. That will translate into arc coins. It's it's a little bit harder to do it this way. Like even with Kishin and stuff like that, it does take me a while to actually max out, you know, the points. The gauge doesn't fill that fast. But if you have Kishin and you want to just farm at CLP or something like that, you could do it. You know, you could do it in about an hour or so of farming, 45 minutes with Kish, and uh, you know, it's it's worth it. But I would just say the AFK method is easier. I would only really farm the coins by mobbing if there was like a maintenance, which we, I know we've had quite a few, and stuff like that. So that being said, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it down below. Today is sugar time, so make sure you get your maple point boxes. And uh, yeah, I will try to work on the, uh, the flame guide. As soon as I can. I'm just holding off on it right now because Galak stuff cannot be flamed right now. And Sweetwater stuff can't be flamed, so it's kind of weird for me to make a guide that way. And yeah. Let me know what you guys think. By the way, if you can't actually get your bar to fill up, make sure you go to your star tab and start the quest. Otherwise, yeah, this just wouldn't actually work. So that being said, hope this was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions below. And I will be on stream to answer these questions as well, more regularly, um, compared to last week. So, yeah. See you guys.